Hello guys, it's Christy here with GreenLivingOffGrid.com and I want to show you a little setup that I did to grow potatoes in trash cans. This here is my potato grow system. As you can see, I have over 20 trash cans lined up along the fence here that are filled with potting soil and red potatoes. What I like about using trash cans to grow potatoes is the fact that it's very soft and easy. If you put potting soil in here and then a little bit of horse manure in the fall, most of it will work itself in over winter. Just a little bit on the top will stay, but for the most part, it will work itself into the winter and you'll get really awesome little red potatoes. I'll show you some more of these bins. Uh, let's see, this one right here. This one is starting to go. It's turning yellow, which is a sign that this potato is beginning to die. It's getting colder here in Colorado. And probably another month I'll be looking at harvesting these. But as you can see, I get some amazing sized red potatoes in these trash cans. And all I do is I harvest these in the fall. And then uh, the little potatoes, like these, I might put these in soups. And then sometimes I'll get kind of a medium sized potatoes, but I usually end up with all of these trash can bins. I usually end up with enough potatoes to fill up at least halfway a paper ream size box of potatoes. So that lasts our family pretty much all winter. Um, these of course make great potatoes for dinner and then of course the little ones are great for soups and then you kind of get those medium-sized potatoes I might have some in here uh, to show you I don't want to pull them all out yet but that's kind of like a medium-sized potato and some of these guys uh, will sprout over winter and they'll grow some roots out and then in the springs I use those in the spring to start my potato grow system again for the year so you know, pretty much all sized potatoes, you can use them. And they turn out really great, both in soups and baked potatoes. And then I have this neat little contraption that I built. Um, as you can see, it has garden hose connectors, the quick connects, and then also the shutoff valve, as you can see on the end here. And then I have everything connected up to PVC pipe with a little sprayer on the end. I'll send you, the, I'll give you guys a link to that sprayer. This makes really, makes it really easy to water these potatoes. So I don't have to sit there with a hose in each trash can, filling each up separately. Everything waters really great. I usually do about a watering four trash cans at a time. And I set a timer out on my water system, connecting everything to the hose. And so, using the timer, I can do other things while it waters and come out here every 15 minutes and change to the next set of trash can potato bins. And that is how my system sets up. And usually you can tell when the potatoes are done. Either they die off like this, or they start to turn yellow and we start getting frost. And once they, they get a little more dead, that's when I pull up the potatoes and begin to harvest what has grown over the summer. Because our growing season is so short here in Colorado, we only have like four months. Um, you can mound the potatoes. You can put a few, you know, a few more bit of dirt over top to kind of try to get them to grow longer. But I have found that because it's only four months and we end up getting some pretty heavy frost and we can even have, we've had up to four feet of snow drifts develop in October, but usually not until November. I generally will pull all my potatoes out by the end of October And uh, so I don't do a whole lot of mounding, but it is able to be done even in these trash cans you, I typically will just throw a little bit more potting soil and um, Some horse manure mixed in just to kind of keep them covered so they don't dry out But I don't usually have to do that very much because four months goes pretty quickly and generally I just get the crop that's available in those four or five months of growing season that we have here. But as you can see, this is a really easy setup. You, anybody can do this. You can do this in your backyard. Just pick up some 
20 gallon trash cans. You can either order them online or pick them up at Home Depot. And make yourself a little watering system like this with PVC and a little sprayer at the bottom. And you stick. This is a neat little connector that they have at, over at Home Depot. One side is garden hose connector, the other side is PVC thread. So you definitely want to get some of those connectors and then connect up this little sprayer to the end. And um, it's a pretty easy system to set up for growing potatoes. I like this better than the garden because as you can see here the soil is so soft it's so easy to pull those potatoes up. It doesn't take hardly any work at all and you know unlike digging with a a good sturdy shovel and having to work all day sweating trying to get these out I could pick this stuff up with my hand and grab potatoes as I go it's just it's it's really easy to grow potatoes in trash cans and that is my preferred method of growing potatoes thanks again for watching as always, don't forget to check us out at greenlivingoffgrid.com and like and subscribe.